Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Mini Brick World. Today we're going to be checking out the new, not yet released, 2020 set of the Creator line, the Modular, coming out. Super cool. Check this out, guys. 10270, the bookshop. Show you guys the back of the box here. Uh, very cool build, in my opinion, and I want to get your guys' opinion at the end here. It looks like it connects easily to the corner garage and the downtown diner, but again, with Legos, you can put it anywhere you want. What I really like about this build is it's two separate buildings that can be split in half. Uh, we're going to jump into the buildings in just a moment, but first, let's dive into the minifigures. All right, guys, diving into the minifigs. So first, we're starting off with the youngest of the group. This is the young kid. He's got a banana shirt. New print on the chest I've never seen. He's got a green scarf, which is neat. Worried kind of look with the blue beanie or an alternate face is smiling, which is usually what I like to see in my city. And then we have this could be his father, could be a friend, a neighbor, could be the shop owner of the bookshop. This is an older gentleman, but uh, upbeat attitude. Got a really nice uh, face on him. Then we have this could be also a manager or maybe the bookkeeper. This is going to be the lady, and she has an alternate face. It's a new torso I've never seen. And you see it's a really, really slight difference, but underneath her eyes, she has kind of a cheek impression, and the alternate face does not have that. So we got two minifigures left, and this one is a female. Looks like she lives in the townhouse connected to the bookshop. She looks like she's a frequent visitor of the bookshop. She's got the relaxed, kind of sleeping, uh, taking a break face, or the alternate smiling, excited, fully awake. I have my caffeine face. Uh, and then the last minifigure in this set is going to be more of a business type man. He's got the clean tucked in shirt with the suspenders and tie. He's got the nice smirk. Looks like a real friendly minifigure. I do like the hairstyle and the face. And there's the happy side of it, alternate face. And now let's jump into the accessories. So starting off, we have some books. Of course, this is a bookshop, so it's got a nice little shelf with some books. We have uh, an umbrella, pink umbrella. You don't see, I don't think, in any other set. We have a small little planter with, it looks like a sprout growing from it. We have a trash bag, or it could be a bag full of money. It could be a bag full of food, grocery bag. Who knows what it is, but it is a bag that's included. Really nice, fancy, looks like a king-size bed there with a nice frame to it. And then we have a nice luxury chair. Looks like a nice recliner, coffee pot, super nice grandfather clock, small blue bird, which is neat. A uh, new way to, you've never seen a flowers done before with the stem and the pink flower. Uh, my favorite part, this chameleon. This is another time they've used the chameleon. So you got a chameleon in the fish tank. And then we have a little boy with his airplane. So we'll jump into the airplane right now, but those are the accessories. This is a neat new style way to see an airplane here. It's more of one that you would throw and the wind picks it up other than uh, not, not really remote control. And I wanna show you this scene really neat. This is the super cool aspen trees you see out front here. That's a new time they've done that. And the way they've connected the ladder is really neat. So you see the father or the employee of the bookstore getting it down from the tree. And then also in that tree is a new thing you haven't seen. You see a nest with the birds. So that is a really cool feature. All right, guys, what you've been waiting for is the build. So let's jump in and see what this entails because this is so awesome. So out front, we're going to start on the left side, which is the Birch Books. It's the bookstore. We're going to start with that first and work our way across. Uh, show you guys the image of the out front here. There is a lot of tiling that I've noticed on this build uh, that they've put into the detailing more than I usually see. Just look at the front here. Even above the archway, above the door, really like the way they designed that, the way the sign's done. Very, very cool. Starting with the back of the building, really plain, not a whole lot to it. You can add a trash can, what you want. Inside, I couldn't find many images of the bookshop, but I'm sure there's a couple shelves and books on the base floor. But showing you guys how the stairs wrap up on the bottom floor, so I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it looks more like a traditional small little bookshop. But coming to the second floor, I was able to get some images. And I want to show you the staircase, really neat, wraps around. And the second floor is more of a lounging. So you'd hang out, and they have a really nice leather seat. You can sit in a very comfortable chair. And it's somewhere you would hang out after you check out a book. And the new graphic I haven't seen yet, there she's reading Mobile, Moby Dick. So very cool to have that in the details. And then showing you guys what would rack up around when you go upstairs to the top floor. 
There's the entrance hole there to get in, but it, you're gonna have the bed. It's gonna be more of the apartment style, which I love how they keep that because so many minifigs need places to live. So you have the chameleon cage and there's her popped her head in there. I don't know how they did that image, but she's looking into the chameleon cage and then the roof here would just easily place on top if you needed access to get into the bedroom. But to show you guys all the detail work they did, this piece covers up the back of it. Really neat because it gives you an access, uh, access to a patio on the back. And then showing you guys on the right side, the townhouse. This is more of a basement kind of floor. So I haven't seen this before. I don't know if it's accessible for the minifigs or just a little small area for storage, but I do notice the ladder does slide underneath as you can see in this image. So that is a neat part and I'll have to check that out in more detail later. But I do love the outside, showing you guys a front shot of this townhouse, Victorian style, could be a condominium. Very cool how they designed that. Love the wraparound window that you've seen before. Uh, it was also done in the townhouse on connected to the pet shop. So inside, really cozy place, really fancy actually. Got the white fireplace, really nice dining table. You got your teak pot, uh, coffee cup, a few little details on the accessories. And then showing you guys the upstairs would take you to these the second floor and that's going to be more of a bedroom so that's going to have the desk and it's got a lamp and your dresser your bed your it's got a picture wall art very cool and then this again this building is only going to be two stories tall even though it looks three because of that basement so you're going to have here this is going to be a small little patio to come out i do like the railing a lot and then that roof slants down and that's a small little uh window that you can peek through if you wanted to like the boy is there so that's the front side of it. So that is a neat build. It does, again, look like a three-story, which it kind of is if you count the basement. But look at this, guys. It splits easily, connects like any other modular to any other building you like. This is it next to the pet shop to really give you a view of that. I wanted to kind of get this picture in here and show you guys the, the comparison on it. I think it's a very, very neat build, and it'll fit in anywhere. That being said, I'm excited to get it. You gotta hold off like everything. Here to show you guys this image here. Let me know what you guys think. Are you guys excited for this? Do you want this set? Where would you place it in your city? Give me your thoughts and opinions. I love reading the comments and I respond to every one of them. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Give you guys a shot here. I do like the trees too. That's another neat thing I didn't really talk about too much. The way they did the fall leaves. It's nice to see something different. And the colors they've used. I think they did a great job with this building. In my personal opinion, I am for sure gonna buy this set. And I think it's gonna be great. I might end up getting two and separating them. I might make a double uh, double townhouse and have the bookstore somewhere else. And then the alternate bookstore, maybe turn it into a different building. That's gonna do it though, guys. Appreciate you watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Comment below. Give me a thumbs up. And for what's still to come on Mini Brick World's next episode, check this little clip out. Be doing a review on this next set, guys. This is the Arctic set, 60195. The Arctic Mobile Exploration Base. So stay tuned. And as always, keep breaking.